everyone, so today I'm going to be filming my session with Ivy. So Ivy is my Cocker Spaniel, she is now eight months old. And we are starting to work on adding a bit more structure and a bit more formality to her training. Um, I recently went for a one-to-one -one with Lucy at Canine Intuition um, and I would definitely recommend her. So if anyone is looking for some gun dog training, um, definitely check her out, her Facebook page. Um, I think she does some other dog training as well, actually. I think I've seen her doing some agility and stuff. But um, regardless, definitely check her out. That's Lucy at Canine Intuition. I will put um, her link or whatever it is in the notes so that you can follow that through if you're interested. But she um, was really, really helpful. It's so useful having someone else observing your training because they just pick up on things that you just don't see yourself when you're in it. So um, we're going to be working today on a few things that I went through with her. So one of them was our sit stay. So Ivy sit stay is quite good. She does have a habit of lying down sometimes. Um, and at the moment I can't quite work out if I'm happy for that to happen or not. Um, in my head she responds to the sit cue and goes into the right position when I ask her to sit so I'm happy with that and if I'm asking her to remain still for an elongated period of time and she's choosing that it's more comfortable for her to do that in a down I feel like that's okay and I'm gonna allow that so that might happen in the session. Um, but I would be interested to see other people's thoughts um, on whether or not I should go back and pop her in the sit or whether I should accept the down. But my gut says as long as she's staying still and if she needs to be more comfortable and therefore the down position is the position that she chooses, then I'm all right with that. Um, but working on our sit stay, particularly for me, so Lucy observed that I give a lot of body language cues to Ivy still when I'm walking away from her. So I'm going to work on reducing the number of cues I'm giving her um, whilst getting her to remain in place. We're also going to work on our recall. So up till now I have been teaching Ivy the recall and I'm confident that she understands the recall cue now. Um, however, what we've been doing is you've been recalling in and she's been doing what I would call spanieling. So whizzing around my legs, having a lovely time, whizzing in and out, getting a fuss, and that's been fine. Um, as a pup, I'm really, really happy with that. As long as she's coming back to me, we were having fun. It was a nice game. Um, I'm now going to start to ask her to be a little bit more formal in her return. So asking her to recall and then sit in front. And then once I have marked that, she can span in as much as she wants as part of her reward for that recall. Um, but I want to start working on getting that sit in front with her. And then we might also, if we've got some time, do some work on our stop whistle. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so we are out with Ivy now. And the first exercise I'm going to do is just going to be re-familiarising her with the place board. She's done lots of place board work before, um, but just starting off the session reminding her that that is a place where she gets lots of good stuff. So I'm going to get her to pop herself up on the board. I'm then going to give her a string of treats one after the other, then I will release her from the board and nothing will happen and then after about 30 seconds I'll ask her to go back on the board, another string of treats and I'll repeat that maybe three, four times um, before then starting our sit stay work. So let's see how it goes. So to start this exercise off, I get Ivy to pop herself up on the board and then feed her a string of treats, one at a time, one after the other. Then release her off the board with my break cue and then stand waiting. Now I was a bit silly here and I did this off lead and as you can see she started chasing some leaves around which wasn't ideal so popped her back on the lead and started again so back on the board with a string of treats again so I release her off again here 
and then I'm waiting doing nothing. And the idea of this is that I'm teaching her that when she's on the board, she gets lots of good stuff. And when she's off the board, it's actually quite boring and nothing happens. And ideally what I'm looking for her to do is to choose to get back on the board herself. However, she didn't on that rep, so I've popped her back on the board and I'm gonna give her another string of treats. So I release her off the board again and you'll see that this time without being cued she decides to pop herself back on the board which is exactly what I'm looking for. So she gets another string of treats and then we end the exercise. So now that we've done that we are going to work on doing some of our sit stays using the board trying to keep her in place um, without her creeping off while I work on reducing the amount of body language cues I am giving her um, as I'm walking away. So let's see how that goes. You ready? So you'll notice that when I popped her on the board there, I clicked and rewarded her for getting on and sitting. Um, I'm doing that because it's still a relatively new behaviour and so I want to make sure that I don't take it for granted, so I'm continuing to reward that. I then ask her to remain in place while I walk away. Once we've come back, I click and reward and then I release her off the board. So I don't want her to be staying on that board the whole time throughout um, the exercise. I want her to have the opportunity to move around, do a bit of a spaniel wiggle between each rep and then reset. Otherwise, it's going to be a very, very long sit stay on the board. Okay, so you'll notice that on the next repetition um, we have an error so as I walk away she comes off the board. Now to deal with this all I do is go back and pop her back on the board into position but note that I don't reward her for getting back on the board that's because I don't want to encourage error correction which is when we reward our dog for correcting an error that has been made. And although that doesn't sound like that much of a bad thing, what it can do is inadvertently encourage the dog to repeat those errors more frequently because they learn, in this instance, I come off the board, then I go back on the board, and then I get rewarded for it, which can create a bit of a yo-yo, which is not what we're after. So we just pop her back, no reward. I then get a nice um, stay in position, and then that's the behavior I reward her for. One of the reasons that I like using the place boards for our sit-stay training is because it makes it really clear uh, whether or not the dog has stayed in position. So now that I'm walking away with my back turned to her all the time, it would be really easy, and she's done it in the past when we practiced in grass, that she does a little army crawler, a little bum wiggle forward, and then when I turn around, she sits up and pretends that she's been this perfect little angel. If I'm doing that on grass, sometimes it's hard to notice, and so, I could technically then end up going back and rewarding her for wiggling out of position. Whereas with the place board, it's really clear. I turn around and if she's on the board, she's stayed in place. And if she's off the board, she hasn't. And in that case, I can just pop her back on and we can reset the exercise. Okay, so that was very successful. I, I did quite well myself, um, not giving her body language cues. When I watch it back, I might change my mind, but I think I didn't give her anything other than the initial cue and then walked away. Um, and you'll notice we built up the um, distance slowly. So I started on five paces, then 10, then built up. Um, and the same with duration. I got out the distance, came straight back first time, second time built up a little bit more duration and third time uh, a bit more still. So that worked really well. Uh, we're going to have a little play now um, and then I'm going to practice some recalls. So one thing I think is important when practicing our sit stay recalls are our transitions. So you'll notice that when I get to the place board I turn around but I wait a few seconds before I blow my recall whistle. I do this to make sure that she's staying steady in the sit stay and only recalling back to me once she's heard the whistle cue. 
if you always blow your recall whistle as soon as you turn around, your dog can start to become a bit um, unsteady in the sit as they anticipate that the recall is coming and so break early and I don't want that. So I will always wait a few seconds, how long varies um, before then blowing the recall whistle. I also do add in a couple where I walk out but then return back to her and reward her in the sit stay. Again, just in a bid to make sure that that sit stay remains steady. That went pretty well. You can see that she's just so enthusiastic um, and so fast that it's almost impossible for her to stop playing in front of me. We had one there where she came straight onto the board um, but couldn't stop and ended up going through my legs. So maybe I need to crouch down. Maybe that will help prevent that. But definitely getting better, but still a long way to go. Um, what we're going to do now is just having a little chill. So I don't know if you can see her. Um, just having a little relax because whilst it's great that we train these active behaviours um, and that we have lots of fun while we're out, it is equally important that I teach her that not everything is revolving around her. I've clearly seen something. Um, and that she has to wait and she has to do nothing sometimes and that's just life um, and that that's okay and I reward her for being calm and chilled out. Um, just hanging out with me. This is one of the things that I didn't know when I was training Tia. So we'd go out and we'd do lots of training. Um, we'd do lots of retrieving, lots of recall work, lots of playing with the ball. We'd just do loads of stuff basically, but we never did nothing or very rarely. Um, and as a result, she now struggles to wait when other people are working. She wants everything to be about her and everything to be hers. Um, which is one of the many issues that we have with her. So one of the things I'm really keen to instill in Ivy is that she does chill out and do nothing. Um, she can settle wherever we go and that's all okay and that's just normal for her. So we'll have a little chill now and then I need to stock up on some more of her food because we're running low. Um, and then we will do a little bit of practice on our stop whistle to see if we can keep building and strengthening that cue for her. Okay, so that is my session with Ivy complete. I didn't end up doing any work on the stop whistle because I went back to the car to get some more food and realised what I had um, was her lunch left, um, which is fine. I do lots of training with her lunch, um, but it's kind of hard bits of biscuits and she has a habit of when we're doing work that's a bit fast or she's chasing food or catching food that she won't chew it um, and then ends up choking on it. So rather than doing the stock we did a little bit of work on heel work um had a little play then a little chill and then called it a day um but overall she's a little superstar i love working her she's so easy she's so attentive she's so focused um went really well um i'm pleased with her or with my sit stay work um, i think we've improved a lot since our one to one with lucy so hopefully when we see her again in a couple of weeks she will um notice and see that, that we that has improved um her recalling back into me still a work in progress you can see she's really trying i just need to maybe find um some hills or some slopes that we can practice that up so that she it slows her down on the return to me um, because I think part of the issue is just she's just coming in so fast um, it's hard for her to put the brakes on so it's getting better there's definitely a lot less spanieling um, and you can see she goes past and then she comes back in front but definitely still things to work on with that um, but really pleased um, in terms of her response to the recall whistle there are a few in there where I actively chose not to give any body language cue and just blew the whistle and she responded straight away um, so that was nice interesting observation with her place um, she is going with my body language and not the verbal cue so maybe some more work needed on developing the strength of that verbal cue for the place ball so yes overall really good session really pleased with her still little bits and pieces to work on and progress um, but she's a cracking little dog and she's doing really well so that is all for now.